What is happening there, YouTubes? What's going on? Regular mix video, regular mix. So, um, <clears throat> regular mix video. So what we're going to do tonight, uh, Saturday night, Saturday night, just sitting here shooting a video for you guys. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to mix up uh, something I mixed up a couple weeks ago for uh, Bobby, Vaping Trucker 38's cousin. Uh, I will not subject you to what we subject, what myself and Adore E-Liquid subjected Bobby to. Uh, this is, the, t the name of the E-Liquid is For Yo Ass Bobby. Uh, what it is, it's a strawberry milk, uh, basically. Basically just a straight strawberry milk, super simple recipe, easy to mix up, uh, really, really tasty uh, right away. Right away, it's shaking, shaking vape, and you're out the door. So there's the steep time. If you give it, if you're able to let it sit around for three days, it's going to mature a bit, and you're going to get a bit more. Uh, you're going to get some. You do use some dulce de leche in it, so you're going to get more of a, a the the sweet caramelly milk type flavor. You'll get a little bit more of that as it steeps, and the strawberry the strawberry perks up a little bit. But honestly, right away you can you could vape through a whole bottle, and you would be you would be just fine and and so it's one of, it's one of those flavors if you if you manage to make it through the steep time of about three days without vaping the whole thing it does it does get better it's and it just gets better and better as it as, as it steeps through but right away you can just rock and roll it straight out of the bottle it's not harsh or anything like that just a really 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 nice strawberry milk uh, so on that note everybody let's let's gather it let's gather ingredients we'll go down low and then we'll mix ivana those people in our house again so, i figured i'll run through a little bit of backstory for you guys on this e liquid plus i have that much of it left to vape which won't take me very long won't take me long at all So how this liquid came about is I was sitting on Vaping Trucker 38 show. Uh, he does a live show every Saturday night. You can check it out if you want. That's how I met uh, Lee and Laurel from Fluent Vapor. Uh, the lovely people who are producing the Addy's Yogurt Project along with me. Uh, but Trucker's, Trucker's really, really, really good guy. Really, really good guy. Uh, and his brother had never tried a Dory liquid and he was running his mouth saying, I will try a Dory liquid when she comes up with a strawberry milk. So, and it's one of the, it's one of those things. If you, I'm also friends with Dawn from a Dory liquid. Uh, me and her had been texting back and forth throughout the show. And Bobby was running it. Bobby was running his mouth about, oh, she needs, she needs to. She needs to produce a strawberry milk. Then it, then it'll be good. That's when I'll try her liquids. So, me and Don kind of hatched a nefarious plan without without Bobby being aware of what was going on. Um, and so, we came up with. Well, I came up with this recipe. Uh, I emailed it to Don. <clears throat> Don proceeded to mix up a twenty four milligram batch uh, for Bobby. For Bobby. Uh, and there, and basically, where the name came from for this e-liquid is there's your there's your there's your strawberry milk for your ass, Bobby. There's the strawberry milk for your ass, uh, and it turned out, you know, it was just a mix that I came up with kind of off the top of my head, uh, knowing the particular flavors that are involved. I just kind of, you know, real quickly in my head, I was like, okay, well, I know I I know you know str sweet strawberry strawberry ripe will give him a really nice str sweet strawberry flavor. G you know, give it a little bit of a Give it a little bit of a natural flavor. Uh, let's put some dulce de leche. Let's get a sweet milk flavor going in. We'll keep the sweet theme going. Like I said, that'll add kind of a caramel. That adds kind of a car almost a caramelly note to it, which is lovely, lovely. Mm. It's, it's damn tasty, damn tasty for something that you know. It's, it's one of those things, you know, someone asks you for a recipe for something, you just kind of whip it up off the top of your head. And I'd been using this one. Uh, Cream Milky Note by One on One Flavors. Uh, pretty quickly turning into, I think this is probably going to be my go-to milk, milk flavor, honestly. Um, nice and smooth. Uh, you 
you can use it at a little bit, you can use it at a, a slightly higher percentage than you can most dairy flavors and not get that, not have it go like totally spoiled milk side of the house on you. And that's something you got to kind of watch out for with dairy flavors is if you use even like a micron too much, all of a sudden your juice will turn into kind of a spoiled milk type flavor. Uh, this, this particular flavor, the, the cream milky note by one on one, I haven't encountered it yet. Uh, you know, it's one of those flavors when I got it in, I went and looked up on one on, uh, on, uh, ELR E dash liquid dash recipes.com. Always a mouthful to say that one. I went and looked up that flavor and just kind of, you know, took a, took a meat in of what everybody was using in that mix it up for myself. And I was like, oh, damn, that's, that's damn tasty. You know, just for a milk flavor, that's a, that's a tasty milk flavor. And I've been rolling, rolling with this ever since pretty much. I tried some flavor West milk, uh, at the suggestion of Bruce not that long ago. Yes, I hear you, phone. Uh, at the suggestion of Bruce not that long ago. And it's a really good milk flavor, too. It's a little bit stronger milk flavor. Um, but that's a super low percentage type flavor. This one, you can, you know, it gives you a little bit more room to play around. You're not, you know, digging, you know, digging as deep as you can, uh, you know, dropping it to the lowest possible percentage. This one gives you a little bit more wiggle room to kind of, you know, really dial in that milk flavor. You know, you're not using a half percent. You're not diluting it. You're not diluting the flavor out so that you can so that you can use it. So it's like I said, this is kind of the the cream milky note by one on one is kind of becoming my my go to milk type flavor, uh, and which is kind of it's I've got a massive bottle of uh, dairy milk by TFA, and as that one might just sit there unless I come up with. Well, no, because I'll still use it for my strawberry milkshake recipe. See where my brain goes, like. Like, am I ever going to use it again? I'm never going to use it. Well, wait a minute. Yes, I will use it again. That's how my brain goes. That's how my brain goes. But a strawberry milk. A strawberry milk. So we wanted a nice milky note. We wanted a nice. We wanted it to be, you know, nice and sweet for Bobby. Uh, but you know, we drop we dropped 24 milligrams on his forehead just because he'd been running his mouth. It was a good portion of that show. Just a good portion on that show. Like I said, me and Don, me and Don tend to. Uh, me and, me and Don tend to, we were plotting, we were plotting a little bit, so, uh, because I love Don, love Don, love Trucker, Trucker, looking at you, Brian, looking at you, buddy, looking at you, buddy. Trucker's not returning that at all, Vaping Trucker 38 is not returning that at all. Uh, Lee and Laurel, Lee and Laurel, love you too, love you too, but, uh, so it, what the, basically this turned out to be, uh, uh, strawberry sweet a sweet strawberry milk flavor with a little bit with that dulce de leche so it's got a, it's got a, a caramel note to it a uh, little bit richer milk flavor really really good if you have someone that you're looking to is someone that's just getting off of cigarettes this would be it's got it's got enough of that it's got enough of that flavor in it it's got enough of that strawberry is great for getting people off of uh uh, getting people off of cigarettes like cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll is another really good flavor to get people off of cigarettes with because the flavor of the strawberry is strong enough to, to even assault uh, an ex-smoker's taste buds before, you know, as you're, before your taste buds start coming back. So this is, a, like I said, this is a really simple recipe. It's only four ingredients. They're all, it, most of it's just pretty much straight up, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 for a 30 mil batch. Uh, uh, so... You know, here I am rambling on, rambling on strawberry. So strawberry milk. We're gonna do a quick strawberry milk, uh, lovely strawberry milk flavor for you guys. Whip it up if you get a chance. I think I think you'll really dig it. I really dig it. It's it's probably gonna be kind of my go-to strawberry milk type flavor. It's not a Nestle quick. It's sh strawberries with a with a rich sweet milk to it. Uh, really nice, really nice. No no weird aftertaste, anything like that. And like I said, it's simple mix. And if you're looking to looking to get someone off of off of cigarettes, this would be this would be a good one to mix up for them. Just you know, here you go, try it, enjoy it. And I think they would. I think they would enjoy it. I think most. I think most everybody would enjoy this if you if you're into the strawberry milk type vape. Some folks aren't. Anyway, folks, let's go down low. Let's go down low and uh, let's go down low and mix this up a little something. What do you say? Go down low and mix this up a little something. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Do it. Alrighty, everybody. And here we are down low. We're down low. Down low. We're mixing. We're mixing. So, first thing we're going to need is some strawberry ripe. Once again, great flavor. 
great, great, great flavor. Love this flavor. You hear that from pretty much anybody who's used it before. Uh, so this is a 6%. You want your strawberry ripe at 6%. This is TFA, the Flavor Apprentice, or Signature. You can get it either way. I get mine from eSig Express because they sell the strawberry ripe in bulk. Uh, TFA actually doesn't doesn't sell doesn't sell it in bulk. So you go you go where you have to. You do what you you do what you do you do what you have to do in the DIY game. You know what I'm saying, guys? You guys know what I'm saying. You do what you have to do to get to get what you need. So six percent, right? Yes, six. 6%, so 1.6 mLs. You want? It's way too much. Way too much. A couple drops of flavor. Actually, that was just right. All right, there we go. 6% or 1.6 mLs in a 30 ml batch. Get that in there. Get it in ya. If you're wondering, these are all flavors. <laughs> oh. All flavors. I'm always experimenting, always playing. If you're wondering what was over there. So, strawberry ripe by TFA. Let's put that over here. Next, next we need cream. Cream our milky note. Right there by one on one flavors. Cream the milky note. <clears throat> great, great, great flavor here. Great flavor. I guess that's kind of becoming my go to milk flavor. You guys get a chance to roll over. It's a it's a one on one flavors are slightly pricier, but they are lovely. They are lovely. So our milky note cream is a four percent, which for a milk for a milk or a cream flavor, that's kinda unheard of. Almost unheard of. You'll see when I do dulce de leche <laughs> in a moment. So let's go ahead and draw that up. Didn't quite get it. There we go. So we need 1.2 for 4%. 1.2 mLs for 4%. I get asked a lot of times, what, Fresh, why don't you mix by weight? I do mix by weight. Uh, for the purpose of these videos, though, what I want you guys to be able to do is go onto any website, not spend a whole lot of extra money, and be able to mix up what I'm mixing. So, you know, syringes are super cheap. The, you can get syringes, these blunt tip syringes, a bunch of 5 mLs, 1 mL, 3 mL blunt tip syringes for you know less than a dollar a piece oh get on there cap go on there right that's why i get for wear some big old gloves wear some big old gloves so there you go cream milky note by one on one but yeah so that's kind of how I, I i envision these videos you know this being you know someone's first time trying to diy this is Sweet Strawberry by Capella. I want to be able to go on like Isig Express or something, spend 20 bucks and be out the door ready to mix up, you know, 250 mils of liquid. And then have supplies to make more. So, that is what we're up to. So, Sweet Strawberry, Sweet Strawberry. This is, like I said, this is just to sweeten it up a touch. For Bobby's Sweet Tooth. For Bobby's Sweet Tooth. For Bobby's Sweet Tooth. So, Sweet Strawberry is 2%. 2%. This is Sweet Strawberry by Capella's Flavors. Should be able to find this anywhere. This is a really popular strawberry. For good reason. Need 0.6 mLs. There we go. 0.6 mLs of Sweet Strawberry by Capella. Just that easy. Just that easy. Did you guys check out that Sweet... That sweet bottle holder. It's Nate the Vape and Ape on Nate the Vape and Ape on Etsy. It's even got my name on it. Thank you, Raina Treadwell. Love you, Raina Treadwell. It's got my name on it. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? I thought about filling in the fresh with Sharpie so you guys could really see it, but I'm like a I'm like a two year old trying to color. I can't stand the lines. I can't stand the lines because I don't have the concentrations. <clears throat> All right, so let's grab a one mil syringe. That'll work for this. So this is Dulce de Leche. Like I said, this is a sweet caramel milk flavor. This one you do not abuse. You do not put anything more than about a percent, maybe 2% max. 2% would be pushing it. 
be pushing. This is a strong flavor. Anything more than like 1% in your flavors, it's all you're going to taste. So just a, just a note of warning about using Dulce de Leche. It's a great flavor. It's a great flavor. Don't get me wrong. This has fantastic, you can provide tremendous, tremendous, tremendous notes to your liquids, but it is strong, strong. Let's go ahead and draw that up. Way over our point three. Point three, point three, point three. There we go. Point three mLs of Dulce de Leche. Point three mLs. There we go. Point three mLs Dulce de Leche. There you go. Dulce de Leche by TFA, the Flavor Apprentice. You can also find it by Signature. It's the exact same company, exact same flavor. Next, let's do some. Let's do a little nicotine. Let's put in a little nicotine in this. Give it a little bit of a nip. Give it a little bit of a nip. Otherwise, if you do, so nicotine. This is my 100 milligram nicotine. Always use the cautions when working with the nicotine. Where's my nicotine syringe? There it is. Hello, nicotine syringe. Harder first. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and draw up. I'm gonna make mine at 1.5 milligrams. You guys can make it at 3, 6, 24. You can make the full full your ass Bobby if you really want. But for me, 1.5. 1.5 milligrams. I'll leave the recipe at three though, because three is kind of the go-to for folks. It's kind of the go-to. But for me, 1.5 is about as high as I can go. I can vape some three. I can vape some three, but much prefer a 1.5. Much prefer a 1.5 these days. Or zero. I really like zero these days. Anyway, and that is it, everybody. Next, we're going to put in 25.2 mLs of VG. Yes, no, I know these bottles. I know what to do. I've got my VG right there. Hopefully, there's 25.2 mLs in here. Should be. We should be fine. Woo! Give you guys the show again. Give it the show. Give it that show. These unicorn, these particular unicorn bottles, it's right to the base of the neck, right to the base of the neck. There we go. There we go. One more drop got us where we needed to be. And there we go, everybody. Full your ass, Bobby is done. Is done already, everybody. Already. Let's go ahead and just recap real quick. Recap our bottle. We're out the door with some e-liquid, ready to rock and roll. What do you guys think about that? Ta-da! See you up top. We're back up top, everybody. We're back up top. There's for your ass, Bobby. Oh, sweet. Let's go ahead and bring that focus back. Get me back in focus. Get me back in focus. There we go. That's better. That's better, everybody. A little bit of VG on the outside of the bottle. Wipe that off. That's why you have regs sitting around your place for DIY. Let's give that a shake. Let's give that a shake. Take these glasses off. Take my sweet, my sweet glasses. You guys like my glasses? Everybody really seems to like my hat. Everybody really likes my Yoda hat. Thank you to Holly Go Lately. Everybody really seems to like my Yoda hat. Everybody see. Go ahead and give this a shake. Give this a shake. But yeah, like I said, uh, if you watch the the replay of Trucker getting or of not Trucker, of Bobby getting Bobby getting his for running running his mouth about Adore E Liquids, uh, AdoreEliquid.com down below. You can use coupon code FRESHO3. Get ten percent off your order. Like I said, I know the I know the lady that makes it. 
I know her. She's pretty awesome. And she's pretty. You can check that. You can check out her e-liquids. I, I did a video review on, let's see, I did Hazy Custard, Custard de Leche. What was the other one? I did. I thought I did three. I did three on the video. Hazy, Custard de Leche, Sinful Apple Roll. Sinful Apple Roll. Still vape them all the time. Super cheap, super affordable. Good stuff. You can always, you know, I can, I can plug again. Addie's Yogurt. Addie's Yogurt on FluentVapors.com. You can find that down below. If you actually buy that, you get 35% off everything else in the store. You buy a full bottle, full price bottle of Addie's Yogurt, and it's 100% Nonprofit, so everything that it doesn't go into making the next batch goes straight to not blowing smoke. We're almost at five grand donated so far in what less than less than two months. It's awesome, guys. It's awesome. Keep it up. Keep it up. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. It's all on you. You guys are the one doing it. You're the one making amazing things happen. You are. You are right there. You. You're making amazing things happen. In the world of vaping, standing up for our rights, vaping some tasty e-liquid. But you're not here. You're not here to tell, to hear me talk about talk about that. You're here to talk me. Hear me talk about. Uh, oh, that's all mixed. Nice. Let's put that down. I've already got some in here. I'll vape this dry, and then we'll get some more. We'll get some more for you, ass Bobby. So it's like I said, it's a sweet, sweet, sweet strawberry. But with that ripe strawberry in it, using the using that much ripe strawberry it gives it still that natural strawberry taste. So <clears throat> we've kind of turned it into uh, like a store bought like a store bought type, like a store bought type uh, strawberry. Really good strawberry flavor though. Really, really good strawberry. You get that, like I said, you get only, you get that caramely note from the dulce de leche. You get that nice, it's a nice, rich, milky flavor though too, and it's a sweet milk. So it won't, you, you're not going to get a sour flavor off of it like you can from some milks. And all that person really did is they overused the dairy. Um, they said be cautious, be cautious with using your dairy flavors. Uh, the the cream milky note from one on ones the only one that I've run across that gives you. You know, able to use that much of the flavor and give you that much more room to play around with. It's kind of when I like, I like that, and I like the, I actually like the flavor quite a bit. It's just nice, smooth, milky, like a milky note, like exactly like it says. It just adds a milky note to things. So if you're looking at like a cereal vape or something like that, and you want to have, you know, a uh, little, uh, like some milk, like uh, Favora does uh, some really good cereals, and you just want to add some milk to it. You just, you know, get yourself some of this, some of the one-on-one -on -one cream milky note. Get yourself some of that. Toss in like 3% in your mix. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at, the, at, the, at what it adds to it. If you're looking for the milk notes in your cereal vapes. If you don't like a milk note in your cereal vape, don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. I love it. Love this flavor though. I love the way this flavor turned out. And like I said, I just kind of whipped it up off the top of my head in about five minutes. But that's just because I was familiar with the ingredients. I was looking at things I knew Don had. Rock and rolled with it. Rock and rolled with it. Good. Mm. Mm. So what's it, what else is going on in the world? Uh, I know the British Prime Minister came out and openly supported vaping. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Said it is a, it is an anti, it is a, it is a uh, smoking cessation, smoking cessation uh, tool, tool to use to help people quit smoking. Millions of us have quit smoking using vaping at this point, which is a beautiful thing, don't you think? Don't you guys think? I think it's a beautiful thing that vaping has done for all of us. So I couldn't, I couldn't be happier to be off cigarettes. I've gotten tons of people off of cigarettes at this point, and you know the movement just keeps on growing. They keep trying to fight us, but we, it just keeps on growing. Uh, what's going on in Fresh's life? Working, working. Like I said, I promised, I promised you guys I was going to do more of these, these single flavor videos. Uh, I've had a lot of requests over the last couple months. Hey Fresh, can you do more single flavor mixes? 
So I really hadn't done any. I, I just relied on the DIY show. And, you know, I, I hear you. I hear what you guys are saying. I, I listen to you. I listen to you. You wanted more single flavor mixes. You're getting more single flavor videos. You know, um, I listen to you. Plus, you know, it, kind of the way vaping technology is right now, it's kind of reached a, a crescendo or a plateau. Some, someone accused me of, being, of reaching a plateau earlier uh, today. <clears throat> It's kind of reached a plateau, you know. It's I'm I'm kind of happy where I'm at with vaping. You know, I've got my Ice Stick Hunter One. I've got a Derringer. Uh, I've got my DIY stuff. You know, I'm all the th everything that comes out. You know, I can I can blow bigger clouds, but you know, the flavor flavor to me really hasn't improved past the Derringer. Honestly, uh, I'm sure a hundred people are going to put out there fresh. You got to try this. You got to try this. Got to try this. It's all a matter of personal taste, you know. Um, you gotta try you you gotta try the low pro you gotta try the thump you know I, i'd love to try the thump um uh, i've looked at that many times i heard it was on sale today uh, a derringer killer i haven't ran anything that killed the derringer honestly at this point i just it's, it's kind of it's my go-to flavor addy i love the flavor i get off of it that's all there, that's all there is to that yeah there's no there's really no other reason i'm doing it no. um there's lots of lots of atomizers that have way bigger juice wells but you don't get the flavor you get off of this thing. I like the way I like the way the setup looks. I like the way it feels in my hand. Um, you know, I can vape stainless, vaping on stainless. I, I love the fact that we're all going to stainless steel wire too. You can use it in temp control. You can use it on power mode. Still, you know, it's reliable. It's not going to hurt you. It's just good stuff. There's no, there's, it's, it's the direction I wanted to see everything going. I'm so happy to see it going that way. Um, what else is happening? I'm going to go see Batman vs. Superman Tuesday night. Uh, me and my coworker, uh, we got our tickets for a five o'clock show, so we're we're both going to book out of work and go see it. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. I already know it's going to be awesome. I don't want to get my hopes up too high for it, but I know it's going to be a. I know it's going to be awesome. Uh, working, 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 doing planning, planning Iceland, my Iceland trip. Uh, I will be going to Iceland uh, at the end of May, beginning of June. So it's, that's, that's all consuming a, a lot of days. I, I do a lot of, I do a lot of planning. I'm trying to find, you know, trying to find the best, you know, stops as we're driving, because we're going to drive around the whole country. You can hop on the, the main highway in Iceland. It's called the Ring Road or Highway 1, and it goes all the way around the country. And so we're going to do that. We're going to go out onto this peninsula. We're gonna jump in all the natural hot springs we can find, assuming they're not too hot to jump into. But yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So it's gonna be awesome. Uh, the Addy's yogurt thing, uh, myself and Fluent, we're planning on doing, uh, planning on doing a live show, you know, like once every two weeks, just kind of remind folks that what we're up to with Addy's yogurt and remind everybody that, you know, it's, it's not going away. That flavor is always going to be there. Vaporos vape. It's it's always going to be there as long as they're producing it. That's the deal. It's 100% nonprofit, which is awesome. I can't believe they agreed to that. I can't believe it. But I couldn't have picked two better people, two better people to work with. They're Lee and Laurel at Fluent Vapors are, are spectacular, spectacular people. Um, I'll, I'll leave. I I always leave links down below, but I'll leave links down below again, again. You guys have seen how long I've been chatting here, like ten minutes now. I got plenty. I got plenty of juice well on the Derringer. I got plenty. Of course, now that I said that, I'm probably gonna dry hit the hell out of this thing. I'm gonna pull a pull a a uh, Brian from the Vapor Chronicles slash Heavy Metal Vapors. Still thinking about moving my live show to Tuesday night, just so I can go on earlier that way i'm not keeping people up until one or two o'clock in the morning doing the late night vape show you know i think i'd be able to reach a little bit wider audience what do you guys think what do you guys think about moving it to tuesday nights you know you can let me know let me know down below um there's one show that i know runs on tuesdays but i don't think they run it regularly i've seen them on the last couple tuesdays i don't want to i'll chat i'll chat with those guys chat with those guys about it but I've been thinking about it, thinking about moving to Tuesday night, just kind of taking it over, just take it over. Because Rin wants to do her shows on Friday, um, and Rin, 
you know, Rin, Rin had the, Rin basically has the, had the call on, this is the, you know, Tuesday night's my night. It's like, oh, perfect, perfect. I can sit back and watch her and, her and Yeti's uncle hang out and chat about the paranormal or, or one of her update shows, whatever, you know. Rin's, Rin's doing great things over on her channel. There's a link for Rin's, I guarantee there's a link for Rin's channel down below in the description too. If you don't know my partner in crime, my partner in crime, the mixtress with the mostest. That's right. She just did a Flavora video? Flavora, yeah, she was talking about blueberry muffin, their custard, and their wild melon. Great video, great video. I, I agree 100% with what she said. Flavora's, Flavora's really good stuff. I just, I did a uh, muffin. I did a muffin earlier. I did a blueberry blueberry yogurt muffin. I think that's why I think that's why I was accused of plateauing. Fresh, you you always doing yogurts. I'll do something different. I'll do something different. Don't worry about it. I've been looking I've been looking at a waffle vape. I want I've been wanting to put together like a like a Belgian waffle with strawberries and whipped cream. Thinking about that. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. If you guys if you get if there's any particular recipe you want me to really focus on it has to be within reason though don't don't ask me to do anything too awful complicated <laughs> I'll, I'll get i'll get into the complicated shit all on my own like like belgian waffle with strawberries and whipped cream sounds easy it's gonna be a it's gonna be a chore to put together but i really want to do that i want i want i you know going out and Having that as a kid, that's like dessert for breakfast. Maybe that's what I'll call the flavor dessert for breakfast. D-F-B, yeah, D-F-B, dessert for breakfast. Getting that waffle to taste right, though. The Belgian waffle flavors, it's it's a good one by TFA, but the steep time on it's insane, which I, I kind of figure this recipe's probably going to be insane anyway. But that's all right. I'm up. Like I said, I'm up for the challenge. Actually, a little dulce de leche, and it might not be a bad idea. A little lemon Sicily, kind of give it a little lemon zest, a little lemon zest in there. Vape stand. You can get those on Etsy. Uh, look for Nate the Vape and Ape on Etsy. Great cat. Great cat. I had him on my live show once. He didn't like that. He didn't like being on a live show. But I wanted to bring him on because I wanted to say thank you. And Raina Treadwell. Once again, thank you to Raina Treadwell. She's awesome. She's awesome, Rain Treadwell. She's the she's the gal who founded uh, myvaporium.net. Great website. Great website. Uh, good people over there. Good people hanging out. So let's have a little more for your ass, Bobby. Like I said, sweet strawberries, milk, sweet strawberry milk. It's not like Nestle. It's it's much richer than a Nestle. You get more of a more of a natural strawberry type flavor. Like I think this would be a fantastic one to to try and get someone off of cigarettes with. Like I said. Just the, there's enough intensity in the flavor without it being overwhelming to, you know, really get after someone's taste buds and, and really maybe open their eyes on what vaping could be for them, what vaping is to all of us, you know. Uh, that's why we all do this, you know. We're all out there to help each other. It's, you know, we're all out, we're all out trying to help each other. I'm trying to help you learn how to make your own e-liquids. Save a little cash. Save a little bit of them cash monies. You know, you can buy new vape gear or something with it. Take up a new hobby, drink some beer, do whatever you're going to do with it. I'll, I'll help you save a little money, though. Um, not that you'll save that much money, because once you kind of get into the DIY, you're always looking at flavors and always buying, you know, a bunch of flavors. And a good chunk of your vape budget goes into flavors. But still, in theory, in theory, you could you could stumble across that one mix. This could be that one mix that just does it for you. So... I, I, I recommend you I recommend you whip this one up. Like I said, it's simple. Uh, the only flavor that you'd have to really go out of your way to, to go and find would be the cream milky note from one on one. I'd recommend you do that anyway. Uh, I love it. I love that flavor. It's really, really, really good. Really, really good flavor and it really adds a lot to mixes if you're if you're looking to do stuff like that. Their their cream is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> their cream is fantastic. Yeah. Ugh, I've been hanging out with Mark Fagan too much. Anyway, folks, let me know how you're doing in the comments, everybody. Let me know how you're doing down there. 
Uh, like I said, I, I chat with a lot of you guys on the live shows, but I love seeing you guys in the comments. I try and respond, uh, assuming that the, the comment's reasonable. I, I, I do tend to respond. Uh, old, Pro, old Fresh tries his best, dang it. He tries his best. <laughs> anyway, folks, everybody, be beautiful to each other. Be beautiful to each other. I'll see you on that next video. Bye! Oh, your ass, Bobby.